It's great. I mean, I think it's very fitting for the film, you know, to, to be here. And, and after the premiere, we're going to have a whole party at Tomorrowland, which will be nice. And um, what I love about it is it's, it's sort of a casual premiere, you know. it's uh, it, it, Being here in Disneyland, we're not all dressed in the big gowns, which is kind of more my style. Oh, um, I'm excited. Well, uh, you know, the great thing about this movie is there's so many different elements to it. It's, it's an action, it's an adventure, it really is like a ride. And the sound and the visual is just like such an experience. So for an audience, you really want to go out to the movies to see it because it just, it, it makes it come alive so much more. Every scene, really. Right. Doom and gloom, yeah. Well, I think the point for Brad making this movie and having it be a big uh, tentpole film for the summer, it's surrounded by a movie, you know, that, that when people approach the future, they think, oh, doom and gloom and sadness and darkness and despair. And Brad really created this world that, that is endless of possibilities. They're, it's bright, it's optimistic, and it's, it's a way for people to, like, approach their lives in a, in a nice way and get excited for tomorrow. And um, it's, it's a good message for everyone, you know, kids and any generation. Well, George, Raff, and I, you know, we kind of created our own little dynamic between the three of us because we were, we had so much time together. Um, George, you know, he's so silly and goofy and was always trying to entertain us and, um, and Raffi and I were just like cracking up always. He was so kind to us, really, really great guy, good actor, loved it.